It's been called the most dangerous olive harvest ever. A dramatic rise in Israeli settler violence has led to attacks across the occupied West Bank. UN officials have described what's taking place here as warlike tactics. This year, the harvest is so dangerous that some dare not to set foot in the olive groves that sprawl across the rugged hills and plains. So your land's just up on top of the mountain? Up, up at the top, yeah. Over those hills are the olive trees that Kamel Nassan and his family Last have year. been picking for decades. Year, not anymore. I'm scared. What happened? They come in, take him from us, they drop him in the floor, and let us go. They took the olives and they yeah, threw them throw away. away. They shoot and they, and they scare him. They shoot in the sky? Yeah, for they scare him and go. There's no, no kill uh, people for the, so far. But just as we were doing this interview in the south, the further north in Janine, a 60-year-old woman was shot and killed by an Israeli soldier while olive picking. Her family says she was given a permit to harvest the trees near the Israeli barrier, but was shot and killed. Israel's military says it launched an investigation, and a senior officer was suspended. There have been more than 30 violent attacks against Palestinians this month, carried out as they tried to pick olives in the West Bank. The rise in settler violence means that those who try to harvest work carefully and are always on the lookout. We are broke, says Lutfia Abu Aliyah. We risked our lives coming here for this olive harvest. Olives account for about a quarter of the agricultural income in the occupied West Bank. The harvested crop is often pressed to make olive oil. Families rely on the money they can earn now more than ever during a time of growing economic hardship. But the olive tree is also an important cultural symbol. It represents a connection to the land passed down through generations. Now that connection is precarious. We're about to interview these two farmers and they don't want to go too much further down that road because earlier this month when they were out picking olives, Israeli settlers showed up and there was a confrontation. This is the video from that day. Abdul Karim Nassan said he had permission to go harvest his trees from Israeli authorities as they lay behind a gate they put up. But he said dozens of settlers showed up, some with automatic weapons. I got in the car and the settlers suddenly shot, he said. He said the settlers then started breaking and uprooting trees. And you won't go back? I will only go back if they open the gate and Israel provides protection, he said. There are more than 500,000 Israeli settlers in the West Bank, living in communities deemed illegal by the UN and many countries, including Canada, under international law. Some of their homes dot this ridge above. Abdul Karim Nassan points out the outposts. Surrounded. Yeah. Yes. He says he was shot with a rubber bullet last month while harvesting, but says he won't be deterred. We have been tending to this land for years, so we can't leave it. This tree is my life, he said. He takes us to a plot of land not far away. Here, he says, settlers pushed a gate down and cut the trees. Across the West Bank, there have been cases of trees being set on fire. Entire groves have been set alight, leaving large swaths of burnt trees. UN officials estimate that last year, 10,000 olive trees were vandalized in the West Bank. Other trees are behind barriers, sealed off from farmers who want to tend to them, like Kamel Nassan. But how does it make you feel to not be able to go into your traditional land? I can do nothing. This feeling, and my feeling, I don't know what I can do. There's some people, you know, he told you, if you come in next time, I'll kill you. What you gonna do? The Israeli military says the war in Gaza has raised tensions in the West Bank, adding that it's more difficult to manage security these days. 
Nassan decided it's not worth the risk to farm his trees this year. But others say they have no choice. They depend on this harvest and don't want to be forced to give up what is a traditional way of life.